five years ago, the school district realized that they would have to expand their high school capacity. They went to the business community and said, we're considering opening a new high school. What should it look like? No, no. Through a long process of consulting largely with high-tech companies like Lotus, Hewlett Packard, Silicon Graphics, uh, what you see today is the result. The mission of this high school is really to prepare students for high-wage, high-tech jobs of the future. So please go to that document. It was sent this morning at 917. Begin answering those questions. I will give you 10 minutes. At this school, each student has a fully networked Pentium computer. Uh, we operate the school online using Lotus Notes. And every student here, before they graduate, must demonstrate proficiency in spreadsheet, database, word processing program, email, and the internet. They will get the industry standard software skills, uh, communication skills, presentation skills that they will need in order to go right from high school into a high-tech, high-paying job. Our goal here is not to teach technology, although we do that. We are trying to teach how to use the technology to do whatever you need to do. Go back to your workstation. Get on journal. We're starting a new lesson. 23. Once we had a very clear picture of how we wanted technology to be integrated in the classroom, what we did then was to look at what types of applications could support that environment. Databases like a... We wanted a very robust email system. Try them all. We wanted one that was easy to use. There you go. Stay connected with other people. We wanted a product that could store for us all the kinds of documents that schools usually waste a lot of time pushing around. What we're doing right now is experimenting with all the different tools. We wanted to use the technology and teach the kids to use that technology. The natural product that was commercially available and is a business standard was Lotus Notes. The use of Lotus Notes has allowed students to blossom. We use it as our school's uh, form of internal communication. Uh, staff sends us uh, updates on events going on in the school, communicate with each other. Um, teachers give us assignments. Everything from email to sharing of documents to students downloading uh, graduation requirements to joint projects. Lotus Notes is not difficult for the students to use. We continue to add databases and it continues to improve our communication and effectiveness at the site. We're receiving over 2,000 email hit counts a day from 120 students, so the level of communication has increased tremendously. The second day of school, we showed the kids the Lotus Notes system and we showed them how to use the email feature. Within two hours, I had 20 email messages in my box. Approximately 10 were serious, and I timed it. Within 45 minutes, I had given a response to all those 10 kids that either answered their question or set up an appointment to answer their question. Now, in a traditional high school, it would have taken me at least a day to find 10 kids. I got like a B. I really feel much closer to the students using notes. They will send me messages that I find out things I probably would not have found out, things they were not comfortable saying to my face, or just a little embarrassed to say in front of the class. They will email that message to me, and I can get back to them right away. And it's one location. They don't have to go into many different pieces of software to find the things that they're looking for. The advantage of notes is the flexibility in uh, adjusting the environment to how users use it in a very rapid fashion. You never loved him. I never loved him. I love her all the time. It's a uh, project we did for uh, English class, like a pr presentation for the Great Gatsby. Of course it matters. I think the students have adjusted extremely well into this environment and the, even the students with uh, that had never touched a computer before they came here uh, are doing some very amazing things. 
for some of them, it was the first time that they that they really felt like there was some meaning to their education that that they didn't just have to do it, but that they really wanted to do it. Wait, I'm gonna do it all over again just to make sure. Great. Okay. There you go. The students that were very scared of the technology had very little knowledge of it. I have watched those students just flourish. Oh, that's pretty neat. And I love the aspect of watching a student that was not confident in her abilities and see her help someone else. That's been wonderful to watch. All this part took us about two hours to do. Yeah, we have to stay after school longer today just to finish it. We're gonna make a phone call, call a police guy. And then the guy, the policeman's gonna call a counselor and they're gonna have a meeting and see if they can work it out or else he's gonna be placed in the foster home. The key to working in, uh, in the information age is not necessarily what you remember, but that you know where to get it. Good. The interesting dynamic is that it is not unusual for the students to know more about the tools here than the teachers. We go into the internet, we have to find all the information for adopting the child, and we were just supposed to write like a big old essay about it and stuff. And the internet. Um, I personally think it's everything all of the prophets say. I use it almost daily to find information that I either couldn't have found or it would have taken me months to find. And information drives change and achievement. I use the internet a lot, and especially to develop my curriculum. Um, the Mathematics Council has a website that I use quite a bit, and it has lots of links to other curriculums. I just wish that I could connect with more teachers this way. I think that the, um, the internet and the uh, computers provided to us have given me um, a better angle and a better view on uh, helping me find research for my reports and it's actually helped my grades. Okay, so that what we've just done is load a pre-made selection which has... I think if we accomplish shop. anything here, if the one thing that we accomplish is to give them confidence. Let's see here. And forget about the technology, forget about even the job skills that they learn, but if they get confidence in doing something, the learning will follow that and the skills will follow as well. All right, if you have any problems, talk. We know from our high tech business partners that nothing is done alone anymore. It's teamwork. So when you go into the classrooms and tour here, you will see sometimes students working individually, but a lot of students working in groups, sometimes face to face, sometimes electronically. And once we started to see the capabilities of Lotus Notes, we saw it would not only do what we wanted, but do things that we never thought. And it, it quickly became apparent that one of the advantages was a product that we could expand, we could adapt, and could grow with us because we have many future goals in technology. And Lotus is an elastic, adaptable enough product, Lotus Notes, to do that.